Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Portal Management System project tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to create a simple portal management system for beginner to advanced. So if you are a beginner, this is a perfect tutorial for you to learn and I am going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So let me just show you what we are going to do in this project. So here we will uh, download a template from the internet and we will integrate a template in our project and this is how it will look. So here you can see book a room online option. So here instead of book now we we'll have an option called check availability and if we click on the button it will show us if any room is available in the portal. And here if we go down it will show our room and those room will be coming from the database table and we will have a button option over here if the user click on the button it will take the user to different base where the user needs to give his name email phone number and the starting date and ending date and also how many people will stay in the room and once the user click on the button book now button it will book the room and if the room is not available then it will show the user a notification at the top that a uh, room is already booked or the room is not available please try different group and we will also uh, have a option that the user will be able to send a message to the admin and we'll also uh, show you how we can upload multiple images on the admin panel over here okay uh, so that we can show it uh, in a gallery in our font view so this is the font view for the user so right now let me just show you the admin panel so this is how our admin panel will look so on the left side we'll have option for creating a room or bookings or messages option or creating gallery option over here and the admin will be able to create any room upload update or delete any room and obviously admin will also have the ability to cancel any booking after that uh, admin will be able to see the message that the user sent from here and also admin will be able to upload all the images from the admin panel so this will be a simple project but if you complete this project you will ha uh, have good knowledge on laravel you will be able to create any project so right now let's go and create a fetch laravel project and in order to create a laravel project we need to have node.js composer and them downloaded in our device so you need to check whether you have those three downloaded in your device so in order to check node.js uh, if you have node.js download in your device just open a common prompt here and just say over here node minus v press enter it will show you the node.js version and if you want to check whether you have composer installed or not just write over here composer minus v press enter and it will show you something like this here you can see so composer is also installed so if you have xam download you can just open the xam from here like this you can see them so if you have those three downloaded then you are ready to create your laravel project and if those three is not downloaded then you can check the links in the description uh, where i showed how you can download node.js composer and xam so I will assume that you already have those three downloaded. So let me just close those three and right now we'll create our Laravel project. So for it, let me just go to my folder and let's say we'll create our project over here, my new volume D. So let's go inside and here we're going to open in command prompt. So at the top over here, we'll press and we'll say here CMD, then press enter. So it will open a common prompt and in order to create Laravel project, we need to run this command composer create project Laravel slash Laravel and then we need to give our project name. Let's say our project name will be hotel project or uh, let's write it like this hotel underscore project and right now if we press enter, it will start creating our Laravel project. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. So here you can see the project creation is complete. So right now, in order to run our project, we need to go to our project directory. So here you can see our project name was hotel underscore project. So in order to go to the project directory, we need to say over here cd hotel underscore project and press enter. Okay, I did a spelling mistake. Let me just write it properly. Hotel underscore project press enter and there you go currently we are in the project directory so we can just say over here in order to run our project we can say here php artisan serve and press enter and there you go it ran our project 
or if you do not want to run cd uh, hotel underscore project what you can do is that we can just close this and here you can see our project folder hotel underscore project we just directly go inside and over here we'll open a command prompt we'll say here cmd press enter we are in the project directory so here we are going to say php or json serve and then we'll press enter so our project is running so we'll just copy this on tool c and we'll go to our browser paste it over here and press enter and there you go this is our freshly created Narabin project so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to connect our Narabin project with database so in order to do that first of all uh, let me just close this so right now we will connect our Laravel project to the database and in order to connect our project to the database first of all we need to open XAMPP so we will touch over here XAMPP here you can see XAMPP control panel we will open it and we will start the Apache and MySQL so right now here at the top we are going to search for XAMPP and press enter so here you can see on to 7.0.0.80 slash dashboard so here you can see my exam port number is 80 that's why it is 80 if your exam port number is 8080 then you need to write over here 8080 like this okay since my port number is only 80 so we'll just write 80 and here you can see psv my admin option we'll click on psv my admin and also you click psv my admin it will open something like this and here on the left side you can see new option so we'll click on new and here you can see database name so we'll give it so we'll give a database name so let's say our database name will be hotel that's all and here you can see the create button we'll click create and there you go a database is created so right now we need to connect this database table hotel with our laravel project so in order to do that this is really simple so first of all let me just open our project using sublime text you can use any code editor in this tutorial we are going to use sublime text uh, so let's so you can use any code editor but in this tutorial we are going to use sublime text uh, so let me just open the project so here you can see the file option and click on file and then click open folder and our project name was hotel underscore project and our project name was hotel underscore project so let me just search it over here so our project name was hotel underscore project so let me just search it over here we'll say here hotel underscore project and there you go i'll select it and click select folder and there you go so here we'll just directly go to our dot env file here you can see dot env we'll click on dot env and here you can see db database by default the database name is laravel we'll make it hotel h-o-t-e-l hotel and save it and make sure that this db database hotel spelling is exactly uh you write over here so since you just write the database name over here it means our database is connected with our project so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll show you how we can make multiple authentication in laravel in this project so thank you very much for watching if you have any question just let me know in the comment section or you can make any suggestion in the comment section as well i hope you will like this tutorial series thanks again for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorials